Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Online Soccer Skills and the wait is finally over. I've gotten so many questions from players about how they can dribble the ball faster and more effective when they get to the game. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step the problems that players are having and I'm gonna show you the tweaks and the fixes. This way, you know when you get to the game, you're gonna have more confidence to take on players 1v1. I want you to stick around to the very end of this video because I'm gonna be giving a free gift away to serious players who wanna take their game to that next level. So watch this video all the way through and let's just get straight into it. There's four problems that I've identified as a trainer that I've seen over the last decade of training players. The number one problem is the technique that players have when they dribble the ball. And while I'm talking here, you're gonna see some examples of how not to dribble. And what I'm gonna show you is a lot of times players are using their instep to push the ball forward. And when this happens, it's going to be dragging their feet behind. And this is gonna slow you down. There's a couple of reasons why players are using their instep. I think it's because a lot of times when you dribble, it's gonna feel easier to try to cushion the ball as you're running forward. And like I said, there's problems when you do that because you're gonna run slower. Your foot is dragging you behind as you dribble. And it's also gonna force you to look down at the ball. And that's the second problem that I know a lot of players have is their vision. When they're dribbling, they're staring at the ball. They have no idea what's going on around them and this is gonna cause them to dribble into trouble. And that's something that you have to switch. If you're constantly looking at the ball, that's going to put you in trouble and that's gonna put you in danger when you're dribbling because you have no idea where you're gonna be running. Before we move on to the next problem, I know the first two, these are bad habits that players are doing over and over. And what we need to do is by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to break these habits, but this is something that you have to change because if you're not dribbling with the right technique and you're constantly looking at the ball when you're dribbling, you're going to lose it. And it's, it's gonna affect your confidence when you get to the game because you're not gonna want to take on players 1v1. You're not gonna want the ball at your feet if you know you're gonna lose the ball. So this is very important. We break those habits. All right, let's get into the third one. The third problem I see that players have when they dribble is when they're under pressure, when they're going at a defender, they hesitate and they're not willing to take that player on 1v1. And you'll see here, I'm dribbling and you'll see me stop the ball or I'm turning, I'm going away from where the defender's standing. And that's a problem because that's gonna show your teammates that you lack confidence when you have the ball at your feet. And this is one of those things it's all about your mindset. If you lack confidence when you're dribbling, like I said earlier, you're not gonna want to get the ball from your teammates. You're not gonna be that impact player. The last problem that I know players are struggling with is when they're going at the defender 1v1, they might be getting around them, they might be getting by them, but there's no change of pace. If you watch players like Ronaldo or Messi, when they attack someone 1v1, as soon as they get by them, they have a quick burst up the field, and this separates them between the defender. This way they can attack the space with confidence and they're not having to worry about the defender anymore. And this is a common problem I see that players struggle with is when they go out a defender, they might get by them, but they lack the change of pace. Okay guys, we showed the four problems that players have when they're dribbling. Now I wanna show you the solutions step by step. So we're gonna go back to the first problem that we addressed, which is the technique. And we talked about players are using their instep, they're using their toe, they're losing control, it's forcing them to look down. What we wanna do is change that habit and start to build and create a new habit when you dribble. And this is all about technique. You want to pay close attention to the part of the foot I'm using. I'm using my laces to push the ball. And the reason I'm doing this is because that's not going to break my stride up when I'm running. You watch any top player out there, this is how they're gonna dribble. And if you're using your insta or using your toe, that's going to break your stride. And when you break your stride, that's gonna slow you down. And we wanna do the opposite. We want to run faster. So if you wanna become faster, you have to dribble with this part of the foot. This way you can push the ball into the space and stride after it. The second problem we addressed is players are looking at the ball and they can't see anything else. Their eyes are locked in on their feet and the ball here. And what happens is players are going, the defenders can quickly close you down and you have no idea where anyone's at. And that puts you at a massive disadvantage 
when you play this game because you cannot see where defenders are coming from. You have no idea where your teammates are. And what we need to do is fix that. And when you see me dribble here, you'll notice my head is facing down, but my eyes can scan the field. When I dribble the ball, I like to know where everyone is. That gives me an advantage. And you'll see me when I'm dribbling, I can always see 10 to 15 yards in front of me and around me. The third example we talked about is when players are taking on defenders, but they hesitate. And you'll see me here, if I'm doing too many moves or if I'm dribbling and I stop the ball and I'm slow trying to beat the defender 1v1, it's easy for the defender to step in and win the ball. And this is what happens. I see a lot of times players are dribbling. They're trying to take on defenders 1v1, but they're doing way too many moves. And instead of doing that, we can attack the space that, de that the defender's giving us. And it's simple, we gotta drive at the defender. We want to go at them. That puts more pressure on the defender at that point. And the more pressure we put on them, the more likely it is that they're gonna make mistakes in a 1v1 situation. So when we take on defenders, it's all about your mindset. You have to have the confidence to drive at them, go at them hard, put all the pressure on them. This is gonna cause them to mess up and make mistakes. The last problem that I identified with dribbling is players are lacking the acceleration to blow by the defender. Now, if you beat a player 1v1, your job is half done. Just because you get by them, that doesn't really mean anything. Because a lot of times when I watch players, when they're playing in their games, they might beat a player 1v1, but when they're trying to get by them, when they're trying to run down the field, the defender's catching them. And I want you to pretend when you get by the defender, you need to pick up the pace. You need to accelerate. This is going to, to cause a massive gap between you and the defender. This way, you're running up the field unpressured. A great example of this is if you watch Ronaldo, when he beats a player 1v1, he's going to accelerate quickly and he's going to explode into the space. He's not gonna beat that player and wait for them to get back. That would be kind of silly because that gives the defender a chance to come win the ball again. He's gonna get up the field, he's going to attack the space. And that's something that you need to do if you wanna beat players 1v1 you got to rapidly accelerate into the space. This way, you can drove up the field faster. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning, we're giving away a special gift. We just finished creating our first ever worldwide skills competition. And when you click on this video right here, you're going to be taken to a page. All you have to do is just enter in your email address, and I'm going to give you free access to that. And this is really cool because it's our first ever worldwide competition. So every player in our community has a chance to see who's gonna come out on top. And what I want you to do, you're gonna go there, you're gonna watch the video, and you're gonna come back and you're gonna comment with your scores. And I lay everything out in that video. It's a great skills challenge. And what I, all you have to do is just click on that video there. If you're on any mobile device, you can't click on that. Just go in the first link in the description. It's onlinesolversales.com slash competition. You'll be taken to the same page. As always, Subscribe to our channel if this is the first time you're ever watching one of our videos. We have over 175 videos now on our channel. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe, comment, and let us know if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you next time.